No, no worries. I'm worried that uh, the whole audience can hear me. No matter mute myself in the computer. And people should be, you should be looking at, well, I'm in a different place. Um, they're in the call. Trying to be quiet. Yeah. 
don't know how to do that. Well, except that you get 20 people online already.
Good evening. This is Tarek Khan, national coach for California Referee Administration North. If you can um, hear me, please uh, raise your hand. Lots of folks are raising their hands. Excellent. It is, according to my watch, 701. We will start at 705 promptly. I thank you for those that are on time and we'll be just a little bit courteous to the rest of the gang. Thanks very much. And you may wanna look for your consideration, FIFA's considerations uh, for referees for misconduct. Thank you. Good evening. This is Tarek Khan, National Coach, U.S. Soccer. Tonight is the Regional Referee Clinic. We're going to do a uh, quick and dirty gut check of your accuracy when judging misconduct. So I would remind everybody uh, first to mute yourself in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. Uh, you should be able to hear me. If you cannot hear me, raise your hand. Uh, that's, that's step one. 13 participants raised your hand. All right, I am now speaking and you're still not hearing me. Is that correct? So we've got a dozen people not hearing me and 100 people on the line so the other 85 can hear me? Is that how that's working? Lots of folks saying they're not hearing me. 
Oh, Derek, so much for rehearsing in advance. And we've got 10 chat lines going. Let's see what's happening. Um, everyone can hear you. All right, we're gonna go forward. So next is, thank you for using the chat feature. If you wanna ask me a question, use the chat feature. As we go through a baker's dozen of carefully selected video clips that uh, Matt Buckman has selected, as we go through them, I would encourage you to look at the whole screen, including off the ball. Pay close attention. Imagine you're the referee and the AR and the fourth, and you've got six pairs of eyes and you can see everywhere that's happening on and around and off the ball. So with that, we're gonna launch into our first video. With any luck, you can see this. If you can't, spinning around, Donovan got a hand to him though. Oh! Uh, coming in late, uh, falling rear over tea kettle was Eric Bird, right in front of the microphones, in front of the fourth official. Let's have a look here. So there's soccer Preston Donovan going at it. Soccer Preston's down on the ground and. Step on. Easy does it. That hurts. You got to be careful though. You know, honestly, intentional, unintentional. I'm not going to. So that's a first time through. Is there anybody that feels like they need to have another look at this? No harm in asking for another look at this. Again. Raise your hand for me if you want to see this one more time. Okay, I'll give you another look. We can accommodate that request. Here we go. Spinning around, Donovan got a hand to him though. Uh, coming in late, uh, falling rear over tea kettle was Eric Bird. Right in front of the microphones, in front of the fourth official. Let's have a look here. So there's soccer Preston Donovan going at it. Soccer Preston is down on the ground and oh, yeah, stepped on. Easy does it. That hurts. You got to be careful though. You know, honestly, intentional, unintentional. I'm not going to. All right, I am going to launch a poll and I'd like your decision. Your choices will be obvious in a second. Here you go. Give you another 10 seconds. There's 30 of you still thinking. And I'm going to end it. 80 of the 100 odd people on the line have, uh, have voted, and you are split. 50, 48, so half of you want a yellow card, and 48% of you want a red card, and two people are gonna live without any card whatsoever, so I'm not sure what they were looking at. The correct answer in this instance is that this is clearly a send-off, absolutely clearly a send-off. Why are we sending off? Let me show you. Let me show you. After Preston's down the ground. And... Right there. So the ball is gone. The whistle has been blown for a foul. And the attacking player comes in for a little bit of payback. Except he raises an entire boot and puts. 
Oh, it stepped on the ankle of the opponent. Now, since the ball is gone, and since the whistle's been blown, we should have very little tolerance. We should have a low threshold for this type of activity. And this really needs to be a send off and it needs to be written as violent conduct. Why should it be written as violent conduct? Well, it can't be serious foul play, not contesting the ball. The ball is not in play. And further, we want to make certain that it's written as violent conduct so that number 17 gets a two game suspension once the uh, discipline committee is finished with him instead of a simple one game for a second caution or for serious foul play. He did not challenge for the ball. Whistle's blown, play is dead. He comes to send a message of intimidation. Let's look at the next one, shall we? Matundi upfield brings it down. And Matundi threw his weight into Yarrow, throwing him into Cardoni. And Atundi is down, Cardoni is down. Cardoni took a knee to the side of the temple. This does not look good. So Atundi going after this ball, forces himself on Yarrow, and then you see with that right boot, kicks out at Cardoni. That is absolutely malicious. As a player, you know not to go in this. You see the keeper coming out. In my opinion, that's a straight red. I, w I really wish they had VAR because that is such a dangerous play. And now he's faking like he's in. All right. Who needs a second look at this? Raise your hand and let me know if you need a second look. All right, I'll give you that second look. And I'm going to hope that uh, we all come to the right conclusion this time. So here we go. Take a look. Full clip. Atundi upfield brings it down. And Atundi threw his weight into Yarrow, throwing him into Cardoni. And Atundi is down, Cardoni is down. Cardoni took a knee to the side of the temple. This does not look good. So Atundi going after this ball, forces himself on Yarrow, and then you see with that right boot, kicks out at Cardoni. That is absolutely malicious. As a player, you know not to go in this. You see the keeper coming out. In my opinion, that's a straight red. I, w I really wish they had VAR because that is such a dangerous play. And now he's faking like he's in. Okay, you've had six different views of the contact between the attacker and the goalkeeper. Let's, uh, let's ask the question again. Okay, a couple stragglers. Maybe there's some folks multitasking. That's quite all right. Now we've got 120 people on the line. Thank you all for spending your evening talking about soccer. Um, we're going to stop right there, and I'm going to share those results with you. You can see that of the 90-odd uh, people that responded, looks like 92 people responded overwhelmingly in favor of a send-off. Absolutely correct. This has to be a send off. If we look here at the, uh, the decision point, if I just walk you through this, right, that's not the best view. Here comes the best view. Forces himself on there. So this is a red card for serious 
and he, the attacking player in, in white, is attempting to play the goal, uh, play the ball. Uh, so we can write that as serious foul play, excessive force. He has actually followed through with his foot and then his knee into the goalkeeper. Hence the reason for uh, for excessive force, serious foul play, send off. Straight red, as the commentator noted. It's unusual that the commentators get the, uh, get the call right. They're not usually very well informed. Uh, you might have noticed the referee here doing his best to calm the day. is down. Cardoni is down. Cardoni took a knee to the side of... By the way, I should remind... To all of these videos in YouTube. Uh, so save these answers and save these videos and share them with your friends and family and anybody that carries a whistle or flag. If you listen to this, you hear the referee telling the defenders to relax. Uh, I'm not certain that that's the best way to calm them. He does say, I got this. Good for him. You might want to consider other words than relax. That's, uh, in essence, putting fuel on the fire. Um, a straight red here, a quick display of the red card, would go a long way to assuring the defending team that you're protecting their goalkeeper. All right, moving on to number three. Trying to find Yao, but really tight quarters. Shaw goes into a crunching challenge. Carl Howarth is going to continue to play. It was clean. Yeah, this one goes quick, and you only get one look at the contact. I'm not going to ask you. We're just going to go. Have another look. Trying to find Yao, but really tight quarters. Shaw goes into a crunching challenge. Carl Howarth is going to continue to play. It was clean. Give you one more view. Really tight quarters. Shaw goes into a crunching challenge. Carl Howarth is going to continue to play. It was clean. And now let's uh, now let's take the take the poll again. So go ahead, give me your best shot. Our participation is lagging a little bit. 85 of you have voted. Maybe the assessors on the line aren't voting. You guys can vote too. Folks are raising their hand. Do we have some questions here? I don't, I don't think I've got any questions. All right. Let's stop the polling. That's uh, 89 people have, have participated. You can take a look for yourself. Slightly more than half of you have reached the correct conclusion. This is, in fact, a caution.
Okay, guys, I'm getting some feedback that uh, I'm getting some feedback that the video is not working from me to the rest of you guys. So we're gonna let Stuart run the video and I'll run the commentary. Give us just 30 seconds to make that swap. Where it says what? Uh, hang on a minute. Up here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let it play the sound. And now am I going to see what you're showing? Okay. All right. Yeah, I see it. Okay, you should be on clip number four. Kelly applied pressure. And Kelly gets a shove from Edwards. And a car had shown to Dane Kelly. And Edwards having none of any sort of apology from Dane Kelly. And now Edwards wants a bit more, and he would be wise to back away. Kelly has been shown a yellow, and Edwards acting as if he has been shown red. He has been shown nothing at this juncture. So Kelly shown a yellow card. I'll tell you, you know what? I'm I think you've got a case if you're Edwards, if that first touch is closer to you. or if, But the way that developed, that was a little bit casual. Kelly actually had a shot at that ball. Fifth yellow of the match. Show Not talking at the second. Just letting you. All right, here we go. First piece. And back up one, Stuart, and just stop it right there. All right. First, raise your hand. Can you hear Tarek talking again? I appreciate your patience with the uh, appreciate your patience with the uh, technical difficulty. Can uh, can you hear me talking? That's step number one. All right, we're good. We got we got 50 people saying yay. All right, thanks for that. Secondly, do you need to have another look at this uh, attempt to play the ball? Anybody needs another look at this? Stuart, run through it one more time, please. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You want to run through the whole thing? Yes, please. Go the whole thing. Cool. And Kelly gets a shove from Edwards. And a car is shown to Dane Kelly. And Edwards having none of any sort of apology from Dane Kelly. And now Edwards wants a bit more, and he would be wise to back away. Kelly has been shown a yellow. And Edwards acting as if he has been shown red. He has been shown nothing at this juncture. So Kelly shown a yellow card. I'll tell you, you know what? I'm, I think you've got a case if you're Edwards, if that first touch is closer to you or if he. And we can turn that off, Stuart. Just pause it. And let's take a vote. Hopefully you've had the chance to 
have a good look at that play. And now let's see, we've still got 120 people on the line. I appreciate your patience, ladies and gentlemen. That must have helped, Stuart, because we instantly went to 80 people voting, 90 people voting. Glad to hear it. Thanks for the intervention, Derek. All right, the voting has slowed down and ladies and gents, you're at about three fourths for a yellow card. A couple of people have no card. I'm not sure where that is coming from. Stuart, using the time bar on the left-hand screen, stop it at 53 seconds, please, sir. Right where you are, right there. Let me clear this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a send off. Go ahead and hit play. Okay. You want a frame by frame or normal speed? If you can go slowly, go for it. Cool. First, one, two, three steps, then a lunge, straight leg, no chance to play the ball, and it's Follows through on the keeper's plant leg. Follows through on the keeper's back leg. Keeper had no clue that this was coming. Absolutely no clue that this is coming. Studs up, straight leg, straight red card, serious foul play. Excessive force. So we have a question says, I thought the attacking player played the ball. Regardless of played the ball, playing the ball does not give you the privilege to take the keeper's leg off or to slice his ankle off at the bottom. The end does not justify the means. So simply playing the ball, if in fact he did play the ball, I think the ball's gone. Okay, they're there, to know the ball's gone. He didn't get that ball, the keeper played that ball away. He, had he played it, the ball, it's still a send-off. So let's go next to number five, please. First piece in the east. Starts with the man in the back. You play through twice automatically? Yes, I think that's, uh, that's what we're doing. And I'll read, my, I'll read my chats while you do that. Yellow card is out, and it will be delivered. So this will be a Ford's Garage yellow card. Issued to Caleb Calvert here in the 20th minute. Well, defense starts with your forward line, and Caleb Calvert putting the hurt on Leo Fernandez, not allowing the Brazil. Everybody's condensed themselves, and you have an opportunity. The first place in the East starts with the men in the back. Fernandez comes back. He'll go down this time, and we could have some discipline here. Yellow card is out, and it will be delivered. This will be a Ford's Garage yellow card issued to Caleb Calvert here in the 20th minute. Well, defense starts with your forward line, and Caleb Calvert putting the hurt on Leo Fernandez. Okay. All right. I think everybody's had a clean look at that, and I don't know what a Ford Garage yellow card is, but let's see if you guys agree that uh, we're going to do – a Ford's garage and maybe it's a Lincoln Continental red card. I don't know. Fix or repair daily run of the mill. Thank you so kindly. Ford Garage. Got it. Found on roadside daily. Okay, I'm with you. All right, we jumped out to a quick, red card jumped out to a quick lead in the polling. Uh, I think you can see this. 
Again, yeah, we can. about 25% of you are being lenient here. The point of contact was the Achilles. Point of contact is to the Achilles, which means we cannot give a, a caution for that. It's with the studs, which is hard surface, to the back of the leg, which is soft surface. It's stuck. Can we stop that for me at 27 seconds? Right there, ladies and gentlemen. And where's the ball? Well, the ball's obscured by number 22. And if you back it up three frames, Peter, you're exactly correct. And let's emphasize what my esteemed colleague, Mr. Fletcher, is pointing out. No, keep, I should have said, uh, Stuart, back it up three or four full steps by number 18. Folks, take a look at this. Take a look at number 18. One, two, launch. Straight leg, studs up, back of the leg, no chance to play the ball. That should raise the hair on the back of your neck. That should make your blood curl, give you nightmares, because that's a straight red. And you indeed heard the announcer say, that he put the hurt on. We don't want to put the hurt on anybody. Next one, please. Condense themselves. When you have an opportunity, you just have to execute a bit better. You got all kinds of tools to it. <laughs> just YouTube. He had caught Masovsky's leg. It was a dangerous challenge. And when you do go to ground like that, you have to get it absolutely right. And I'm not sure he did. And from behind. That, that's the key movement here is watch all the way back behind. That's a foul. That is a foul. 100%. He impedes the left leg. Dents themselves. When you have an opportunity, you just have to execute a bit better. Dabuya. Referee says it was clean. It looked like initially he had caught Masovsky's leg. It was a dangerous challenge. And when you do go to ground like that, you have to get it absolutely right. And I'm not sure. You can did. stop that, Stuart. Well, here we go. Let it roll. Let it roll. Let it roll. Sorry. Back behind. That's a foul. That is a foul. And stop it. Okay, folks. Let's uh, give you a chance to decide on number six. Twenty-four, Stuart. Twenty-four. I'm just gonna hold on. Okay. So if we close the poll, almost a hundred of you voted, and I let you take a look at the results. Slightly more than three fourths said a yellow card. In fact, this is a yellow card. Why is this a yellow card? Well, it's from behind, and it's the scissor. It's the scissor right there. Perfect timing, Stuart. It's the scissor that causes us the yellow. Why a yellow and not the red? It's a yellow because it's not excessive. It's reckless. It is merely reckless. Uh, the defender had no chance to see that. He didn't, uh, sorry, the attacker, number nine, did not know this was coming unless somebody's hollering at him. So. That's why that's a caution. Let's go next, please. Should be number seven. Shove him off it. The Albanian strong in possession. And Sally trying to play it down the line. And again, as Van Sally might have caught a bit of McMahon there. And now the referee will give Louisville the free kick. He was definitely late. And it will be yellow for Alex Martinez. And red, both for protesting, I believe. You wonder what exactly he said, but now Charlotte have a man off to wow. substitute Martinez. Well, he looks dumbfounded. I've very rarely seen anyone sent off to for two yellows, both for protesting. Normally, 
You get one for protesting, the referee warns you, and then you don't, you keep quiet. Let's have a look and see if there's anything else here. Well, uh, that's a yellow. No question that Mansali should get the yellow for that. Which I don't think he did. But the Albanian strong in possession. Push forward to the foul, please, Terry. Okay. Mansali might have caught a bit of McMahon there, and now the referee. On the replay? Yeah. Keep going. You there you go. To Martinez. Well, he looks dumbfounded. Uh, I very rarely you're good. Warns you. you don't. You keep quiet. Let's have a look and see if there's anything else here. Well, uh, that's a yellow. No question that Mansali should get the yellow for that. Which I don't think he did. Okay. Okay. Let's take a poll. Let's see what you, ladies and gentlemen, think. I hear you debating. I see the wheels turning. You're thinking about it. You're thinking about it. Go ahead and make a decision. Come on, we need 10 more of you to make a decision. We can stop the pledge drive. 95. Let's make it 100. Can we get to 96? If you haven't voted, reach over and touch something. Somebody is punching no card just trying to get my goat, I think. That's okay. All right, we're going to stop at 98 out of 120 people on the line. And here's what it looks like. We are still thinking too much about a caution. This is a send-off. Stop right there. Any chance to play the ball? What direction is the blue player moving in? Is he moving to the ball or is he moving to the opponent? Is his body under control or is he rather putting the whole of his left foot on the top of the white player's ankle, bottom of his leg, top of his foot, right in the ankle? 122, 132 bones in that region of the body. That has to be a red card. And in this case, it's violent conduct. It's not serious foul play. He's not challenging for the ball. He's stomping on an opponent in full view of the, of the referee who apparently uh, couldn't make the descent, but only gave a caution. So if we go back to the poll, four out of 10, four and a half out of 10 of you, some 43 people of the 100 that participate in the poll, said caution. Ladies and gentlemen, that is most definitely a send-off. Let's go to number eight, please. And the defense holds. Allen, offside for a moment, and then kicked the ball at the assistant referee. Ah, oh, he's showing a yellow. Yeah, well deserved from Brandon Allen. He knew as, as soon as he did it. I don't know if he, I don't know, as you see the wry smile on his face, I don't know if he knew that the assistant referee was on that side over there. He, he knew he was offside, but a little. The defense holds. Allen, offside for a moment, and then kicked the ball at the assistant referee. Ah, oh, he's showing a yellow. Yeah, well deserved from Brandon Allen. He knew as, as soon as he did it. I don't know if he. I don't know, as you see the rye smile. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, we're good here. Um, this ought to take you a nanosecond, folks. Yeah, six. Oh, six. Okay, I'm going to cut it off there, and I'm going to show you the results, and I'm going to ask somebody of the 40 of you folks that wanted a yellow card, somebody send me a chat and tell me why you think that's a yellow card and use the laws of the game. Somebody that's got a yellow there, use the laws of the game and tell me. 
And then, Stuart, if you would replay beginning at 06. And the commentator said, I don't know if he knows there's a, an assistant referee over there. So here's a 25 or 30 year old guy that's been playing soccer his entire life and doesn't know there's an assistant referee. Like, really? Let's just see. Okay. Uh, somebody said they want to protect the AR. Yes, we protect the AR with a send off. Okay, so dissent is the answer that I thought, and the laws say dissent by word or action. Word is obvious. You saw that in the previous example. Something was said. Remember that dissent needs to be uh, public, personal, provocative. This is not dissent by action. This is violent conduct. Suppose well, there's an assistant referee there. He's disagreed with the call. He's kicked the ball in the direction of the referee. The referee does well to get out of the way. It's violent conduct. Send off is mandatory here. We don't have a choice about that. Let's move on to number nine. That match in Vegas earlier this year where they lost five nothing. Well, Sammy Ochoa sent off right away. No hesitation from the referee. It's a third red card for Las Vegas. They're down to eight men. Center referee is signaling that Ochoa took a stomp on Daly while he was on the ground. And that's why he doesn't want to hear anything about it. So the former Sounders appearance back here in Tacoma lasts all of two minutes. Here it is again. There's the foul. And there's the stomp on the leg and the leaning over his victim. I, boy, I got to tell you, I, I really think, don't think that was intended. A, little, a little bit of revenge for that match in Vegas earlier this year where they lost. So there's that minutes. one and then the replay. Yeah, you don't need here. 102 minutes, 102 seconds. Yeah. Have a look here, folks. There's, there's a foul. push and boom. There's the leg and the leaning over. All right, that's good. Thanks, Stuart. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this is sinking in. Seeing as this is our third stomp. All right, as many folks have voted as are going to vote. There's the results. You've got it right now. Can you back up just two or three frames? Is the poll in the way? Keep going. Keep going. He pushes him over. He looks down and steps. He had the opportunity to move his foot, his left foot, but he chose not to. That has to be a red card for violent contact. No chance to play the ball. I had a late comment come in on the previous one, kicking the ball at the AR, that that was uh, a caution for delaying the restart, that the AR could have caught the ball or kicked the ball away or stopped the ball with the hand. Negative. That is a send-off for violent conduct. Let's go to number 10, please. These last, we've got uh, four more to work through, ladies and gents, and they're a little bit technical. I'm going to need you to think a little bit. Kevon Freider could be away here, tug of the shirt, but Freider's going to power through it. Here's Kevon Freider, yet more tackles coming in, Santi Moore, and here is Chris Weehan, and it's the equalizing goal for New Mexico United. Kevon Freider with such power to keep... ...in a 
Weehan to try and start the counter, and Kevon Frater could be away here. Tug of the shirt, but Frater's going to power through it. Here's Kevon Frater. Yeah, more tackles coming in. Santi Moore, and here is Chris Weehan, and it's the equalizing goal for New Mexico United. Okay. One, one more time, one and more stop time. it at seven. He had to try and start the counter, and Kevon Frater could be away here. Tug of the shirt, but Frater's going to power through it. Here's Kevon. Okay, folks, here's what I want you to consider at the moment that this contact occurs against New Mexico number 10. What do we have working here at this moment? And then consider the outcome. So we will reset the poll. Yes, Peter is absolutely correct. And the final outcome is, let it roll. Kevon Frater, yeah, more tackles coming in. Santi Moore, and here is Chris Weehan, and it's the equalizing goal for New Mexico United. That's a bit of a trick question, guys. We started with a dog cell. Many of you are in fact correct. Yes, we started with a dog cell and the referee signal advantage and we finished with a goal. So what do we have, ladies and gentlemen? 70% of you, 78% of you got it correct. We have a caution. Why do we have a caution? Because of the, law, the laws of the game say, if we have a dog cell and it, we give advantage, then that automatically becomes a caution. So this incident, this, this pulling of number 10 down becomes a caution. We forget to give that caution, but it becomes a caution. So those of you that said no card, incorrect. Those of you that wanted the red card, that's only correct if the goal doesn't materialize. If the opportunity is in fact denied. In this case, the referee gives what amounts to a brilliant advantage, and so it, in fact, becomes a caution. Thank you, Stuart. Let's go to number 11. We're on the home stretch, guys. Appreciate you very much. Clever. Second touch to Tomasi. And there is the point to the spot, or is it just on the outside? And it's the aforementioned captain who will receive the card, Hedrick. Yeah, tough to say. I, uh, definitely a foul. It was an ambiguous point. Oh. And that's... There you go. That's definitely inside the area. Yeah. That's a PK. So the PK for, for the bowl, but... Again, it just it just comes with with Austin the pressure that they're getting tear pack on that left wing, helping create chances. But again, clever. Second touch to Jomas. Say, I definitely a foul. It was an ambiguous point. Oh. And that's there you go. That's definitely inside the area. Yeah. That's a PK. So the PK for for the bold, but. Again, it just it just comes with with Austin the pressure that they're getting tear pack on that left wing. Okay. All right, folks. What do you think? Can y'all see that? 80% of you correctly said that's a caution. A handful want a send off there. The tackle was reckless, was not excessive, 
It was reckless. Thank you, Oscar. You got it correct. Absolutely correct. That's a reckless challenge. And there was uh, my generation, an old school mentality that said the PK was penalty enough. But that allows that captain to make that tackle again and again. We want to modify his behavior. The tackle is reckless. It gets a caution. Simply giving the PK is insufficient. So correct answer is yellow card, and the restart is penalty kick. Uh, well done, those of you that got that right. Number 12, please, Stuart. Nope. There you go. A young Nigerian. Contreras, nice ball. The Partido could spill down. Flag is up. It wouldn't have mattered. Marco Vega. Hey, this next time around, watch the top of your screen, folks. Give you a little clue. For penalty. The offside flag is up on the far side. And this is the third time you've seen the Tacoma Defiance really hold a, a high line, looking to catch the locomotive runners offside. They did it with Andrew Fox. It was successful. They've done it this time. They're trying to combine their nope. Too far. challenge to both youths. The young Nigerian. Contreras, nice ball. The Partido could spill down. Flag is up. It wouldn't have mattered. Marco Vega. Not More. Cut ahead again. Our side. And this is the third time you've seen the Tacoma Defiance really hold a, a high line. Okay. Okay. Let's take the poll. The survey says Okay, I see a handful of people want a send off. And some people want no card and some people want yellow cards. So if you don't want to give a card, send me a chat. Tell me why. Likewise, if you want to give a red card, send me a chat. Tell me why. Clean tackle. Okay, we'll come back to that one. So we got a, we got a clean tackle in the no card category. And how about hearing from somebody offside before, so no cards. Oh, interesting. Excessive and the ball is dead. All right, you can stop chatting. Uh, Stuart, can we go to, I think, 22 seconds? No, 22. I think so. And let it play. So if you had a nice angle like this camera, I'm not sure how that's clean. Again, playing the ball, which is the, the end, does not justify the means. He takes away the attacker's leg. However, the attacker was in an offside position. So the offside negates or cancels any penalty kick, cancels the foul, but it's still a reckless challenge which requires a caution. So here's a caution. The assistant referee did wait and see perhaps a shade too long. Perhaps the wait and see went to the point of contact being made. And boom. So could get that flag up, could he have gotten that flag up a little bit quicker as soon as the attacker turned towards that ball and obviously becomes involved in play? That's not the point of the clip. The point of the clip is the offside does not negate or take away the reckless tackle. It is not an obvious goal scoring opportunity, so it's not a red, It's not excessive force, so it's not a red, it's a yellow card. So even though we have the offside, we still want the players to play fairly and cleanly, okay?
Let's go to our last one, see if we can bring this in at right about an hour. Trying to combine the reporting of when you're inside the 18. Oh, a poker to take it down. And the referee now does blow his whistle. It was a late one, but the challenge didn't look altogether clean for Metzger. I think he's hearing something from the assistant referee on the side, because that was a pretty ugly foul. And now Matt Franz will go to his pocketbook early here, and it's an early caution for Dan Metzger, the 25-year-old. A yellow card caution has been issued by the referee. And bad news for Birmingham Legion is Eddie Apoku remains on the turf. In the sixth minute, number six, Dan That's a really Metzger. late foul from behind, leaving the ground, getting nothing but leg. Very dangerous. I would even say excessive force. Might be fortunate to combine. They're playing unselfishly. When you're inside the 18, oh, Apoku takes it down. And the referee now does blow his whistle. It was a late one, but the challenge didn't look altogether clean for Metzger. I think he's hearing something from the assistant referee on the side. A yellow card. Is Eddie one. Apoku remains on the turf. In the sixth minute, number six. All right, we're good. Let's take, foul. Let's take the survey. Let's see what the survey says. How about it, guys? Hey, I'm impressed. We're 55 minutes in, and we still got 95 people, 98 people participating. That's a good point, Michael. All right. Let's have you folks take a look. 70% want a red card for serious style play, which in fact is correct. And 30% want to allow that player to stay on the field and make that challenge. Uh, Stuart, I think we're at 45 seconds is the operative spot to talk. Try that again for me. See if you can freeze it at the point of contact. Point of contact is 45 for my. And go slowly. So, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you can catch that exactly, but the player on the ground who's being tackled, who ends up on the ground, the guy that gets the worst of this deal. So there's contact point one, and look at the contact on his Achilles coming straight from behind, which causes his leg to buckle and fold underneath him. That is textbook serious style play. It's excessive force. Were this a were this a cautionable offense, he keeps his feet or he goes down easy. This is excessive. This is the definition of excessive. That's why it's serious foul play, because the fouler has endangered the safety of the opponent. He hyperextends that knee. If he tears the calf, if he tears the Achilles, he pulls any of those tendons loose, this guy's season is over, maybe his career's over. That is textbook endangering the safety. So that is all of the clips we have for today. Uh, somewhere between three fourths and 80% of you are dead nuts on. I appreciate that. Some of you need to recalibrate. Hopefully you took notes. If you didn't, you can send me or Matt or Stuart or Derek. You can send any of us a, uh, yes, I'll get that for you, Kevin. No problem. Hang on a sec. If you, if, you, uh, if you want the decisions, you can send any of us a note. We'll be happy to share. Uh, 
Thank you. I'm sorry we had difficulty with the first uh, four videos. I apologize for that. It worked when I practiced this afternoon with Derek, and um, maybe it's 120 people on the line slows it down. I don't know quite how that works. I've not used Zoom before, so uh, I apologize for that. But I'd remind you, you have a link to the uh, to the uh, the videos on YouTube, and let's just if you're of an interest. I'm going to run down the answers from 1 to 13. So clip 1 was a red, clip 2 is a red, clip 3 is a yellow, clip 4 is a red, clip 5 is a red, clip 6 is a yellow, Quick seven, uh, clip 7 is a red, clip 8 is a red, clip 9 red, number 10 yellow, number 11 yellow, number 12 yellow, and lucky number 13, send off. So that's as much as we have there. Stuart is showing you the, uh, if you're still on the line, Stuart is showing you the YouTube and giving you the link. And if you still didn't get those answers or you have more, you need more information, just give me a shout. Um, again, thank you. This has been Tarek Khan for uh, CNRA. That concludes the webinar. Have a good evening. So, Tarek, you got to go to more and then end meeting. Oh, I was reading the chats. Oh, okay. <laughs> people are kind. No worries. I want to know who the one or two people who had no card on anything. I think that's just somebody, uh, somebody fooling with you. Uh, getting participation points. There you go. Okay. So, we go to more and end it. Yeah, oh, end meeting. All right, out here on the end. Uh, thank you, Stuart, for bailing me out. I think if I end up doing this again, we'll have you in, uh, in the co-pilot seat. That worked much better than uh, that worked much better than uh, me trying to drive the boat. I think it is that I was in the run mode on Zoom. It's not uh, so. Anyhow, no worries. No Always worries. happy to help. We bailed it out. Thank you. Okay. Have a good one.